Hello everybody, this is your host, Alcon Ill. Today, we will be playing Crusader Kings 2 with the Warhammer Geheimschnack mod. I've probably butchered that name, but as you can see, I obviously created the character. Um, you cannot use ruler designer per se, so you have to use console to put in a trait and such. But... As you can tell, I didn't add much. I didn't do much with it. Um, anywho, let's get started, shall we? Obviously enough, as you can tell, I am playing a Skaven of Clan Skryer. As you can tell from my liege, who is more Skitar of Clan Skryer. I am playing as a small technical count with an under empire, which is this area right here. And this adds in all nations and a few extra nations from Warhammer. Obviously enough, you have the area where the Blighted Marshes are, which is where Skaven Blight is. You also have Merligans, uh, yeah. pretty much the Talayan and such areas here. I think this is where the Talayans are. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Wood Elves right over here. Um, you have the Beastmen, led by Chartle. You have Bretonia. The Red Duke. You have Sylvania, which this is taking place when Sylvanus, when the, when the empire has basically split itself up in trying to fight for three different emperors, and Count Vlad is trying to stake his claim as the emperor now, and thus will be invading. You have your lizard men as well as the Vampire Coast over here. You also have the Amazonians somewhere over along here. I think it's right here. Yep, Amazonians. You have your Oxys. Which one is this? Uh, you have a few settlements from Norska and a few colonies. You obviously enough also have your Dark Elves right through this area. You have Ulth One. And then you have the Chaos Waste up here. And then you have Norska, which is a bunch of tribes, which their setup is interesting. You can choose to become followers of Char, Nerg, well, basically any of the. I think what they're called is. Uh, I forget the exact name, basically like, basically it's the same deity as the Chaos Gods, for example, all you see in Nurg is Nurgle. You also have your Coronate idiots. I say idiots, I, I don't mean early idiots. Uh, you have your Ursonite fellows and Kislev. Yeah, as you also saw, Chaos Dwarves. You also have the Dwarven Holds throughout the mountains here. And then you have there the areas of Orcs and Goblins throughout this spot. Uh, you have, obviously enough from what you can tell right here, is the lands of Kimri. Um, the Tomb Lords area, pretty much. Uh, you have the area of Araby. And then you also have the south ones. Well, the further south ones, I guess. Which that looks like it. And then they also decided to add in the. Vampires of the Jade, Jade Vampires.
and hmm. I thought there was Nippon somewhere along these lines. Apparently I was wrong. Uh, you also have your ogres throughout this area as well. But yeah. And then you also have Albion right there. But monks out with all that. Let's get on with it. Now, Skaven don't get married in this game. They have, like, the random chance to have a kid through the breeders. Because there is no female in Skaven society. There is the breeder. That is it. They are stupid. They hold no other use than to be a breeder. And then, like all Skaven society, beauty, you have the clans, which we'll be fighting throughout here. You have Clan Pestilence, who I will get to them later. You have Clan Eshin, the assassins. You have Clan Scryer, the engineers. You have more. Memory serves more. No, more. I don't remember much about them. Molder is like genetic engineers, pretty much. They put warp stone and stuff and see what the heck happens. That's how you got the rat ogre and the giant rats. Um, it's far. And then you also have carrion. I don't remember much. I think. I don't remember much about them now. You also have your Grace Ears. So let's get this going on the road again. Um. Hmm. Well, so war with knives and I'm still an idiot forgot to put in the chancellors and such oh yeah not a lot of the scavens would like you Short reign, opinion of predecessor, and then I'll just enough to both are scaven. Yeah, being a scaven in scaven society is hard. Because every single scaven thinks they're correct, and every other scaven is wrong. Okay.
let us get started on some plots here. Do we plot to kill our liege? No. Could we kill our leech? Yes. And as you can tell, uh, the Skavens are all about numbers. Great power of the most holiest wonder that France has chosen see us the devastating energies of plague and ruin to plunder plunge 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 our enemies in effect despair despair uh, I guess I will read this like some of the stuff that they have written here. Uh, our chosen ones of all our one true master, marked on birth with his pure white mane and his most magnificent spiraling horns. We who are gifted with dreadful hatchet, we who speak his word word, he who hears his thoughts, he who knows his will, he who enacts his plots, plots. we truly are our the most magnificent, most beautiful, most cunning, most marvelous, most powerful, intelligent amongst all Skaven, the true paragons of all the glorious under empire stands for for. When a Skaven is born of the pure silvery height of the horn of her hat, he must be taken away from his inferior siblings and dutifully trained to become one of the most noble and excellent prophets of the horned rat, a grey seer. And let's get on more about what exactly is the Skaven. No one knows. They are simply the Skaven. Um, they have different classifications for themselves. You have the regular Skaven, who, well, are just Skaven. You have the Black Skaven, who are trained to be either Storm Vermin normally, or to be trained into being Clanishan Assassins, or Warp Block Engineers. And... I guess with it comes the title as well. As you as you heard me describe, the White Skaven are seen as pretty much prophets, leaders. They are chosen by their god. Be nice, nice to our leader. But yes. Uh, many within the skin society tends to die. In fact, thousands do die every single day of every single second. Uh, 
Um, the Skaven have carved out their little under empire through tunnels and tunnels and tunnels all around the world. They can be found in nearly every single spot except for Ulthwan, really. Now, when the Skaven were first found, well, there's a little story, supposedly, about a city. I forget its name. But it was a city that is where the bl bl Blighted Marshes is right now. It was a city of both dwarves and humans. The humans felt so happy that their town was prospering that they decided to build a tower, a great tower, rather a great church of sorts, but it was going to take them a long time, even with the dwarf help. So a, a man walks into town, hooded, mysterious claims that he can build the tower within a certain amount of time. I forget the amount of time. I think he said 13 days. Because 13 is obviously not the holy number of the Skaven. Much like how Chaos Gods have their holy numbers, I think Zinch is 9, Nurgles is 6. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head the sacred numbers of all the Chaos Gods. But the third on the 13th day, the church was built with a very large tower. It was finished. It was completed. And on that tower, there was a strange thing on top of the bell. Well, on the bell, the bell told once and continued to toll. There was disease, there was pestilence that was going on throughout the town now. And after some time, vermin started to pop up everywhere. It became unsafe for them to travel because the vermin would gnaw, would kill the humans and eat them. And the humans were requesting the dwarves help. The dwarves ignored them. At least that's what they thought they were doing. Now, no one knows if the dwarves were really ignoring them or if it was something else that was going on. My belief is that the dwarves died first. Simply because when the humans battered down the dwarven's, the dwarves' door, Inside was gnawed bones, rats, and the corpses of dwarves. It was then and there that the humans finally died. And it's thought that that is the first area where Skaven Blight came from. No one truly knows. But... It's a nice food for thought. I mean, after all, Skaven Blight does have a nice little bit of a tower in the center of it with a nice bell. And they have a love for bells as weapons. But, anyways. Eventually, the Skaven all were fighting each other for chances of... And Skaven left, built tunnels throughout the world. Eshin ran off to Kathy, basically their version of Asia in this world. Pestilence went over to Lustria. Most other clans pretty much stayed in the old world and so on, fighting each other or fighting the humans. 
eventually the civil wars got so bad that the horned rat himself basically said hey you retards stop fighting each other and start attacking everyone else as much as I'd love to watch you idiots fight I want you to kill and take over because that is what we Skaven are there for we are meant to take over the above ground mm. now and he erected a 13 sided pillar in order to call in 13 leaders the council of 13 as it is called and the main thing that happened with it was it was made out of pure warp stone so highly mutagenic if you touch it more than likely you're gonna die if you don't die well then guess what you're you're a leader now so one guy one one skaven thinking i am the mightiest of them all i yes yes i am the chosen by the great horned rat decided to touch it what happened to him well he burst in flames died in fact the the flames lasted longer than there was a body and the screams also lasted longer than there was a body too uh, then not as many people were willing to go off and touch the the giant murder pillar because some thought it was suicide others thought well we'd rather not see what happens if we don't get 13 leaders and each time you had slave you had slaves who thought hopefully i am the chosen one you had you had full on leaders who thought they were the chosen one and then died and well when they eventually got to 12 after so many dead skaven probably i i put a million down there that they died the the um the great intelligence of the great horned rat blessed be his name said on the on the 13th pillar a flaming fall print hit it and that was to infer that the great horned rat that was him he was the 13th leader no other and now this is me taking a page from a great man named Arthur Warhammer and in fact I'm basically stealing this quote verbatim from him there was a skaven who called the great horned rat out on it and it is stated that his screams lasted the longest. And as so many of what happens with Skaven, there is multitudes of what happened. Uh, of course, the Skaven did not are not united. They they will listen to the Council of Thirteen just simply because. Well, they have the means to kill anything and everything within Skaven society, maybe except for another another member of, on the council. And after the 13 were discovered and made into the council, Pestilence was up in Lustria over here fighting against the well lizard men and there was a prophecy done called the prophecy of Sotek where the where the um Uh, 
where there's ratmen who would invade Illustria, infect the spawning pools, and kill off the lizardmen. Which is exactly pretty much what the fellows of Pestilence did. Eventually, however, the Lizardmen got the Red Crested Sphinx and fought back hard and well then. Um. They already killed him. Huh. But the they were pushed out. This fellow right here, Nerglitch, returns, became a council member after basically starting up a what is known, I think, as the second Skaven Civil War, which is not exactly correct. He managed to get into a council meeting with them and had the most virulent plagues with him. And basically said, hey, let me on the council, or we're all fucked. Um, Clan Eshen became involved after returning from Araby at Araby, Kathy, and learning, well, basically, their version of ninjas. So, Eshin basically became the personal assassins for the Council of Thirteen. And it's... Now, the interesting with the Plague Lord is... What happened was, the council invites the Plague Lord to Skaven Blight, the proper city, not the complete under empire like what this is. But he invites them to Skaven Blight. They invite him to Skaven Blight, and he was supposedly been attacked by a lot of Eshin assassins, and he survives. So, there's always that little thing. I realized that that was all paused. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Um, but, eventually this is, that's pretty much what happened happened to cause well, Pestilence and Ashen being back into the fold. Scryer nearly blew up Skaven Blight itself due to testing a drill. Then again, Scryer is known for nearly blowing up a lot of things. And... Skavens will obviously not also backstab each other more times than anyone can count. Um, you also you also have Scryer, which I stated already before some. I'm sorry if this sounds like all jumbled up. I do not have a script for any of this, and I'm just trying to seem a little bit interesting here. But, yeah, it, this is going to be a little bit of a slower game than most others, simply because I chose to be a count. Okay.
new members on the Council of Thirteen. Yeah, you can keep them. I don't care about them. Mm. Um. I'll talk more about whatever you want me to talk about on this and we will I'll discuss the stuff on the Warhammer Fantasy for this a little bit more just put in the comment section hey I want to listen a little bit about this and that or if you just have any questions about this entire series or any suggestions for what I should do as an upcoming series feel free to put in the comment section. I am brand new to YouTube, so any form of criticism is good criticism in my eyes. And I believe this is going to be it for the episode. Um, Stay awesome, everybody, I guess, or whatever someone wishes to say at the end of all these videos. Bye.